Hello everyone, my name is Nuhaila Aasom, PhD student in Computer Science and System Engineering Laboratory in Abdel Malik Saad University. First of all, I would like to thank all the organizers and participants in this conference. I'm very proud today to share my work with you. So let's start. My research paper is an article review about concept drift monitoring process for class imbalance in data streams. The plan of this work is as follow. Introduction, Objective and Problem Statements, Literature Reviews, Discussion and Comparison, and Conclusion. Big data has a crucial role in the, uh, the participation of computing evolution. Many areas such as industry, cybersecurity, and banking utilize under inside depending on machine learning and deeper learning approach. In most machine learning applications, the data comes continuously over time based on online learning. Thus, machine learning approach failed to maintain the model performance during these online scenarios due to the change and the instability in data distribution and arise many critical issues. The most critical problems that we can face in non-stationary data environments are class imbalance and concept drift. Class imbalance is known as the changes in data distribution within classes due to emerged instances of data that present the minority portion. So the model can focus on the majority class and ignore this minority portion. Concept drift issue commonly exists in real world applications where the data distribution change over time. Therefore, the accuracy of the trained model degrades and affects his performance in predicting the results. The objective of this work is to detect concept drift with class imbalance to improve performance in non-stationary environments. This study will focus on class imbalance handling techniques, concept drift effects in decreasing model performance, machine learning approach where concept drift and class imbalance coexist. Now let's go to some proposed works for this research gap. Primarily, I have focused on class imbalance handling techniques. The first study have proposed synthetic minority oversampling technique that creates new instances from the minority class depending on the features of the nearest neighbors. The second study have proposed a pre-processing technique known as resampling that's using before training the model in real time. The objective is to perform a data balance between the majority and the minority class to benefit from the ignored samples in class distribution. Then, I have talked about adverse effects of concept drift on a model performance. In real-world applications, data comes from different sources and arise changes in the features of the samples or are emer emerging in a class's number. Thus, it's necessary to distinguish between a real and virtual concept drift. This phenomenon affects the model performance and decreases his accuracy in predicted results. In principle, there are three types of concept drift, real drift, virtual drift, and hybrid drift. The first study have proposed, have focused on a real concept drift that refers to the changes in the probability of a class label and given features. This change can directly affect the model performance and the classifier accuracy. For the virtual drift that refers to new additional features or updating in some features, in this case, the distribution has changed without detecting the classifier's decision boundaries. Another study says that this is issue occurs in real-world applications where uh, the characteristics change frequently due to the addition of new features. Machine learning models fail to predict or classify the correct outputs. Finally, I have concentrated about machine learning detecting approach for concept drift with class imbalance. The problem becomes more challenging where both of these issues coincide because each of them can affect the other, especially when it comes to multi-class and not only binary class. A study proposed the drift detection method for online class imbalance. It's a technique based on detecting drift in the minority class by tracking his recall. Another study 
have proposed ensemble of subsets online sequential extreme learning machine. It's an ensemble method with a single classifier that process the majority class samples, while multiple classifiers process the minority class. Another uh, studies have been submitted recently. The first proposed draft detector for multi-class imbalance data based on restricted Boltzmann machine, it can retrain it itself automatically and detect the drift in the minority class without taking only the majority class. The second study focused commonly on multi-class imbalance by a comprehensive active learning. It's an ensemble classifier-based approach. In each drift detecting, a new classifier will be produced and take the weighted of the initialization training. For the discussion part, I have focused on comparison between all these techniques for knowing to what extent the machine learning techniques detect both of these issues. As shown in the table below, we can see that the training in the online scenarios arise a lot of difficulties and constraints because a few approach can cover all the types of drifts and multi-class imbalance at a time. To conclude, this work has discussed two critical issues for the online learning scenario, according to the existing studies, a few works have been proposed for this research gap, especially when both of these issues coexist. We can conclude that machine learning models must maintain dynamically their accuracy to whatever changes, including those in trends or behavior, and retrain its previous training knowledge at a time. In future work, we will dive into other techniques that can detect and handle these issues in non-stationary data environments. Thank you for your attention.